Let's do a bat emergence survey. The first thing to consider when doing a bat survey is where the surveyors will be positioned. This should be decided before you arrive during the preliminary survey. The positions should cover all sides of the building, as well as a good amount of the roof features. They should be spaced out and ideally with no obstructions. For a dusk emergence survey, the survey needs to start at least 15 minutes before sunset and then 90 minutes after sunset. If bats are already flying at 15 minutes to sunset, the survey should technically have started earlier as you have likely missed bats emerging from the property. If you are on site with a late emerging species such as horseshoe bats, then the survey needs to last for a total of two hours as they will not emerge until it's completely dark. Get out your bat detector and make sure it is ready and set up before the survey starts. Record your vital information such as weather and temperature and a quick sketch of the property before the survey starts. Begin your survey. During your survey, the areas you should concentrate on are any potential access points that the bats may use, such as loose roof tiles, gaps between barge boards, soffit boxes, and any obvious gaps around windows and cracks within the building work. The majority of our UK bats are very small and can fit in the smallest gaps within our building. The Bat Workers Manual states that any gap wider than about 8mm must be regarded. For bats such as horseshoe bats, you should probably keep an eye on large holes with direct access. If you need to walk around to see better then do so, especially as your visibility is reduced the darker it gets. Keep a record of emergencies, where the bat has come from and at what time. This is all vital information. Recording foraging and commuting bats is also important. Draw these on your survey sheet as well as the call frequencies. Bats can emerge very quickly, so make sure you do not get distracted by your bat detector or your survey sheet. It is very important to not lose concentration on the building you are surveying, as you could miss important emergencies of bats. Do not use your mobile phone when surveying for bats. If you need to communicate with other surveyors, then bring a walkie-talkie. The glare from the screen can impact your night vision, reducing your ability to see bats in the dark. If you follow these instructions, you will hopefully have a successful bat survey. Even if you do not get many species of bat, every bat survey is a learning experience.